Hanks Con, dozens of customers affected, thousands of dollars stolen. And those thieves are using that money on wild shopping sprees. Ken McLeod reports police are not even sure how this is happening. This is the mail for us that started the whole thing. Cops almost caught this guy feasting on felonies at the Auburn Mall, running up 25 grand in gift cards using stolen credit. In a sense, laundering that money by converting them to gift cards. Same deal with these two ladies charging thousands in gift cards at the Stoneham BJ's and then hitting a pair of North Shore stop and shops, sharing a few laughs before making their getaway in this small white sedan. IDing, you know, some of these runner type people would be super beneficial to try and, you know, moving up the ladder and trying to find out who's behind all of it. Police suspect it's a New York-based operation, maybe with Romanian ties. No fewer than four dozen customers here at the Webster Five Cent Savings Bank had their card numbers stolen. In fact, it was this bank that alerted police. But since, banks in Easton and Ashland have also been targeted by the very same crooks. Thing is, where and how the info is getting stolen remains a mystery. But it's banks that often eat the loss after making customers whole. Oh, I didn't get anything taken out of, thank God. Maureen Peterson's bank got her a new card before scammers cloned the old one, and she's now more cautious. What? Oh, yeah. I try not to use it as much. They're these, running their cards these, right there. Correct. They're running the cards right there. But like their comrades, these guys who hit the Plastow Walgreens had the phony IDs to match their cloned cards. And so did this lady who suckered an Auburn supermarket. They're getting a portion of the proceeds just to do the job and to take that risk. Police would love to slap cuffs on some instead. In Auburn, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.